Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be my long awaited LV comparison video and I will be comparing three bags. One, the Pochette Matisse, two, the Capucines BB and three, my latest edition, which is the Neo Vivienne. For those of you that may be new to my channel, welcome. My name is Mel and thank you for joining me in today's video, which is going to be a super thorough comparison video. Now, for those of you that have followed me for a while, I asked you guys on Instagram, and if you haven't followed me already, this is my Instagram handle here now. I asked you guys, I am going to be doing a video about my Neo Vivienne, which I got earlier this year. What did you want to see me compare it against? And there were a lot of votes, but I said I would go with the majority, and the majority was the Pochette Matisse. But you know what came in a really, really close second? The Cup of Scenes BB. So I thought, why not, Mel? Let's do a comparison of all three. Yes, it is definitely harder and more time consuming to do a comparison of all three, but just for you guys, because I love you guys, I'm going to do all three and I hope this is a useful tool for you when you go to purchase this bag or maybe some of you are considering this bag or perhaps some of you may have one bag and you're thinking, oh, what should I add next to my collection? Now, this video has been a long time coming because you know I like to be very, very thorough in my comparisons and I have got feedback from past videos you guys really enjoyed my Chanel comparison videos and I where I compare four bags. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that up here. But basically, you guys love that format, so I'm going to stick to the same format. If you do like these type of videos, I would really, really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to join my YouTube family and it's super easy. You just click that red subscribe button. And then if you want to be notified each time I upload, just click that bell and then you'll be notified. So let's get straight into this video. I'm going to divide this video into five categories and I'm going to put all the timestamps below in the description box as well. So first of all, I'm going to be talking about sizes and an overview of each bag. Secondly, I'm going to show what fits into each bag. Third is going to be mod shots and showing the different ways the bags can be worn. Fourth, I am going to be talking about prices. And lastly, number five is going to be my recommendations. So let's start off with topic number one, size and overview. So I'm going to start off with my Capucines BB size. Now this comes in four sizes, I believe. It comes in a mini, which is smaller than this. Though the mini versions I've seen have been more embellished and definitely more evening-like. Next up is the BB size, which is the one I have. Next is the PM and then finally the MM. There used to be a GM size, which was the larger size, but I believe this has been discontinued purely because it was one heavy, heavy bag. This bag is made in Trillion leather. It is a very, very durable leather. It's got this sort of big, it's a grained leather, as you can see, and it's quite big, the grains. That's what it looks like from the front. The back is plain. It's got a flap, and when you open it up, inside is divided into two main compartments one two with a zipper it does also have four feet at the bottom of this bag this bag also comes with a shoulder strap the version that i have is not adjustable but the versions nowadays are adjustable also there are so many different leathers and materials. So the version I have is the Python handle, but it also comes in the plain version, plain leather version as well. And mine does have gold hardware, but some of the colorways it does come with silver hardware if you are more of a silver hardware person. In terms of the measurements, now if you see me referring down to my phone, it's because I have notes on here and I just want to be super thorough. So that's the reason why I'm referring down to my phone. So for the cup of scenes, it measures lengthwise 27 centimeters, height is 18 centimeters, and depth is 10 centimeters. 
So next up is my beloved pochette Matisse. In terms of materials, the one I have is in monogram canvas and it comes in different canvas versions. I've seen it come in rouge version where it was the black and red, the reverse mono, and it also now comes in Ompron. In terms of sizes, it now comes in two different sizes. This new season, uh, it comes in the mini size, which is a mix of sort of like epi leather and canvas. So this is the original size and then there's a mini size as well. It has the S-lock, this is called the S-lock. It has got a zipper compartment at the back, which is super useful uh, just to put your phone in there, easy access. It's got a little bit of the vaquera, which is just on the handle and this little tab here. To open it up, you just push one side and it opens up. And inside it is in the microfiber lining and it is an accordion style and there are three compartments, one, two, and three. It does not have any feet on the bag as well. So in terms of size for this bag, it measures 25 centimeters in length, it measures 19 centimeters in height and nine centimeters in depth. I don't have the strap on here, but it also comes with um, a shoulder strap, an adjustable and remo removable shoulder strap, which is also in the monogram canvas. And finally, this is my Neo Vivienne. This bag here is in grained leather, though it's not in the same grained leather as the Capucines. It is also in a calf, but as you can see, the grains are smaller compared to the Capucines there, as you can see comes in a few different colors. There's been a couple of new colors that has been released, but I think there's been about five or six colors that this bag is available in. It has got this top handle here, and to open up the bag is a magnetic closure, like that. And when you open up the bag here, it also, oh, it also comes with a luggage tag. And when you open it up, it's quite similar to the pochette Matisse in the sense that it's got compartment, it's compartmentalized. So it's got this back pocket here, one big pocket, one, one big compartment here, another compartment here, and then a zipper compartment there. This bag also comes with a shoulder strap in leather that's removable and adjustable as well. And it does not have any feet. Forgot to show you the back, the back is completely plain. Now, in terms of the size, this is the smallest of the three, and the measurements are 22 centimeters across, 15 centimeters in height, and 9 centimeters in depth. Now, I've started off with this bag first because I know that it fits the most, and then what I'll do is I'll use the exact same contents and then transfer everything from here into the couple scenes and see what I have to leave out, and then so forth from the couple scenes into the Neo Vivienne. So let's start off with this bag. So it's like S-lock, as I mentioned before, you just push this and you open it up. As you can see, this is packed to full capacity. This is not what I would normally pack into this bag, but for the purposes of this video, I just wanna show you how much this little baby can pack in there. So it is full to the brim. So what I've got in here is my LV mini pochette, and that's packed with makeup and just little bits of medicine and stuff like that. And this is my Chanel card holder, which I use as a mini wallet. Tissues, sunglasses in a soft case. Now this is uh, my old Gucci agenda, and that equates to an LV uh, agenda, the small one, the small ring agenda. If anything, this one is a touch bigger. My car keys, some hand sanitizer, the LV uh, key pouch, which has got keys and just some other bits. My Dior Diorama card case, my mints, my Hermes coin pouch, my lipstick pen, and as I mentioned before, it is in microfiber lining. So there are three main compartments. I haven't put anything in that one, but you can as well. But that's because I usually put my phone in this back pocket here. And that's an iPhone 7 Plus with a hard case. 
So as you guys can see, there is a lot in there. Also, I just wanted to let you know that yes, it absolutely fits a full-size continental wallet, no problem, if you did have a full-size wallet. Okay, so next up is my Capucines BB. And if I just open it up, as I showed you before, this is what the inside looks like. And I forgot to mention, but this bag is completely leather lined on the inside. And see this tab, it just goes into this little slit here and that's how the bag closes up, as you can see. And also, if you wanted it for added security, it does have this hook with this D-ring if you wanted to clip it up, but I never use that. Okay, so let's see if I can fit everything from my Pochette Matisse into this bag. I'm using exactly all the same contents, so let's take a look. Let's just see what that looks like now. No, I still think that's too full. I think you would need to take... Okay, let's just try that. Let's just see how that looks. Okay, that's looking better to me. It's not as, it doesn't come out as much and it fits everything else in. So what I left out was the Dior card case and my Hermes coin pouch. But as I said, guys, this is not normally what I would pack in here. This is at absolute max capacity without it looking too, too bulgy. I'll just show you that it does fit the Continental Wallet as well but it is a super tight fit. So you've got to really push it in there. It does fit in, but it would be a pain to get out. As you can see, I really need to push it to the side and then pull it out. And finally, the Nia Vivienne. So what I've done again, guys, is I've taken all the contents out that fit into the LV couple scenes and let's see what I need to leave out to fit into this bag. So if I open the back bag up, if you see here, it's a magnetic closure. I've still got my uh, stickers on here to protect the metal. And this is what the inside of the bag looks like. So one big compartment here, one smaller compartment, a zip compartment, which I actually don't really use, and this back compartment. Likewise, this is also fully leather lined, but this leather inside is smoother, whereas in the outside is grain leather. Anyway, let's put in the LV mini pochette. So yes, it does close, as you can see, but it is looking quite fat. What did I leave out of the cup of scenes that I couldn't fit into the Nia Vivienne? That was the Gucci Agenda and also the hand sanitizer. But honestly, guys, this is probably a bit too fat for my liking. I probably would take out the key clay as well and yeah, that looks better. Yeah. So I would say these are the three things that I had to leave out from the cup of scenes. And from the cup of scenes, what I had to leave out from the Pochette Matisse was the Dior Diorama card case and the Hermes Bastia coin purse. Now, as I mentioned before, my shoulder strap is not adjustable, but the versions in store now are adjustable. I assume that the strap length is the same. It's just that it would be better now because you can make it shorter or longer. You can wear it crossbody, but to be honest, I don't really tend to wear this bag crossbody. And this is what it looks like crossbody on me. For reference, I am about five foot five or 164 centimeters tall. And that's what it looks like crossbody on me. So it sits a little higher than I would like, um, but it's okay. But as I said, I don't tend to wear it like this. I do wear it handheld quite a bit, which is just like this. And I really enjoy wearing it just handheld. And this can also be worn at the crook of your arm as well. So to me, this is a more elegant looking bag. And I also think it can transition from day to night really well as well. I love wearing my Pochette Matisse handheld like this. I just think it looks really chic. So it looks like that. And if you want to wear it on the shoulder strap, by the way, this does have 
and uh, it is adjustable it does have seven holes I have just kept it on in the middle hole for now and the middle hole I like it on the middle hole because then I can wear it on the shoulder I think it's a good length on the shoulder like this or you can also crossbody it which is also a good length too so I've seen girls from 5 foot to 5 10 wear this bag and it looks gorgeous on any height in my opinion now I have in I'm going to insert a clip when I did the measurements I'm not going to really talk about strap measurements so much because all these three bags have adjustable straps and they're pretty much the same length if I take them all from the middle measurement so for this pochette Matisse it's got seven holes I've taken it from the middle um, hole and with my Neo Vivienne it's got five holes I've taken it from the third hole so I'm not going to talk about strap lengths that much but they're about the same give or take about a centimeter and finally this cutie here which is the Neo Vivienne and this one I definitely do wear crossbody and I love this one crossbody maybe because it's a little bit smaller and to me it's a lot more casual than for example the couple scenes so I do wear this one in my pochette Matisse crossbody and out of the three this strap is a tad shorter and of course you can also wear it handheld which looks super cute just like that if you look at the strap lengths, if I just look, bring these two forward, you can see that they're quite similar. And it's going to be sort of hard to see, but because this bag is smaller, it looks like it is, it's sitting a lot shorter, but remember it is a smaller bag. But as I said, the strap lengths aren't that much difference, and probably only a centimeter or so difference. I will leave the full strap length uh, in the description bar below. But as I said, guys, they're all versatile because you can adjust all three of the straps. So let's talk prices. I'll be quoting in Australian dollars and USD. So let's start off with the pochette Matisse and I'll be quoting exactly as you see here, the canvas version. And this retails for 2,400 AUD or 1,780 USD plus tax. And this little cutie, which is the Neo Vivienne, retails for 4,450 AUD or 3,400 USD plus tax, and this is full leather. And finally, my Cup of Scenes BB. Now I'll be quoting the full leather version with the leather handle, not the Python handle, which is the one I have, though I will leave the price of that in the description bar below, along with all the other prices I just quoted as well. But yes, the full leather version leather handle is 5,800 Australian dollars, or 4,400 USD plus tax. Now, one interesting thing to note was both full leather versions in Australian dollars, once I did the conversion, came out slightly cheaper than US. However, the pochette Matisse ended up being about the same. Now, obviously, I love each of these three bags. I mean, I have them in my collection, but as you have seen from the previous categories, each of them are so versatile. They each have a removable shoulder strap and adjustable shoulder strap. They all fit more than your essentials in the bag. But if I was to recommend based on price alone, then my recommendation would be the Pochette Matisse. This bag is more than half the price of the other two bags. So if you don't have any of these bags and you're thinking of adding one of them, price-wise, I don't think you can go wrong with this bag. I love it as a travel bag as well. And yes, it is not in leather, but even so, if you were looking for a leather version, it does come in the emprunt version. It's not leather lined inside, it's still the microfiber, but you add a few hundred dollars more. So price-wise, my recommendation would be the Pochette Matisse. However, a lot of you may have this bag already because it is a super popular bag. So when you're watching this video, you're thinking, Mel, you know what? I'm ready to add a full leather bag to my collection. So what would you recommend? And I think the question goes back to what is your lifestyle too? 
because that is really, really important. Are you a little bit more casual or is your style a little bit more formal? Because to me, both these bags have different looks. If you just look at them aesthetically, to me, the cup of scenes is a little bit more elegant looking. It's a little bit more formal than the Neo VN. If you're not worried about size and you saw everything which fit into this little cutie, then I would go for the Neo Vivian. It is such a cute bag. It transitioned from day to night really well, not to mention it retails at about $1,000 cheaper than the Couple Scenes bag. And to be honest, out of the three, I have been using this one heaps. So full leather bag, I would go for this version. However, in saying that, if you've got a lot of small bags already and you need a little bit more space and you're like, I've got that kind of area covered, then go for this bag here. So I do believe that this is going to be a classic bag if it isn't already. Do you guys know actually if it's definitely in the classics range? I think they've invested a lot in this bag. You can just see by the num amount of colors it comes in, every single season they bring it out in different materials in addition to this Terillion leather. And it is just such a beautiful silhouette. So if you need a bit more space and you want a little bit more of a dressier bag, go for the couple scenes. And it's even better now with the adjustable strap. If price is not an issue at all, and you're saying, what would you pick out of this and this? It would definitely be this one because it just suits my style more. I am definitely um, not really a crossbody bag kind of girl. I just love the elegant shape of this one. Plus I do prefer a full leather bag. And then if you're going to ask me what about this one or this one, that's a hard one. Of late I've been using this bag more but that might be because of the color more so than this one. I think long term wise it would probably be this one. This one would be the better investment. But yes, I've been using that more. I don't know if that really helps at all, but it would be a very close call between these two at the moment of which one is my favorite LV bag. I also do want to mention one con about each of the bags that sort of bothers me a bit. It's not obviously a deal breaker, but it is a slight annoyance, but I do want to pass that information to you. So with the pochette Matisse, what annoys me about this bag a little bit is the S-lock. Firstly, out of all the hardwares, I find this one scratches the most easily. And when I am closing the bag up, if it doesn't have anything in the front pocket, I do need to really, because this doesn't have anything in it, I do really need to hold it and then push it down for it to secure. See, if I don't hold it down and I'm just trying to do this, it doesn't secure that. Oh, see? Did you see it opened up? So I need to hold it down, then push it in. But normally, look, I have this bag sort of filled up. But one little thing that annoys me slightly about this bag, the thing that annoys me about this bag is when it's empty, this magnetic closure is fine. As you can see, you can hear it, that's fine. However, when it's filled up, it is not that easy to close. You actually have to align the lip of the clasp and make sure it lines up to close up, otherwise it opens up. So I wish that the magnetic closure was a little bit stronger. Empty, it's fine. But once you've got it filled with things, it doesn't close as easily as I would like. Another con to this bag is because the inside lining is in a smooth leather, slight indentations here, that's left from this zipper pull. When you close it up, as you can see, see there? And also there's a very slight one here from this part of the zipper. That is going to be an inevitable and um, I'm pretty sure when I got the bag, there was a very slight indentation there as well, but I thought I'll just mention that. The minor con about this bag is that, see this flap here, even though it's got a little part for it to be worn inside, and how that's how I wear the bag all the time. I did like the feature when you go up to the bigger size, which is the PM and the MM. This front flap, which has this beautiful flower detail here, you're actually supposed to be able to wear the bag like this. And I don't know whether it's because my leather hasn't softened up or you need to train it a little bit more. But can you see that it doesn't sort of sit flush? But it would be a great option if I wanted to, to wear it like this. So if you've got any tips on that, guys, let me know. So there you have it, guys. That is my in-depth comparison 
on the Pochette Matisse, the Capucines BB and the Neo Vivienne. I hope you found it useful. If you did have any further questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. But I do hope it helps those of you considering each of those bags. Lastly, I do want to let you know that watch out for my next video. Finally, after months and months of umming and ahhing, I have decided on what items I'm going to be selling in my next vlog sale. And yes, they are going to be bags, there's going to be shoes, there's going to be SLGs. And I'm going to run it very similar to my first one, which I ran all the way back in January. So if you are interested in picking up some goodies for some great prices, remember to subscribe to my channel and you can just do that here. But most importantly, um, hit that bell because you'll be notified because the minute I release a video, it will be a first come first serve basis. So if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified when I upload my video. So thank you so, so much for watching. You guys are always so supportive and I really, really appreciate it. I do hope you like this comparison video too. So have a wonderful day or night and I'll catch you very soon. Bye guys.